Good afternoon. Our order of service for noonday prayer can be found in your digital bulletin or on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. O God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm today is a portion of Psalm 27, verses 1 through 9, found in your bulletin, or on page 617 of the prayer book. Psalm 27, 1 through 9. Let's read this responsibly by the half verse. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? When evildoers came upon me to eat up my flesh, though an army should encamp against me, and though war should rise up against me. One thing have I asked of the Lord, one thing I seek, to behold the fair beauty of the Lord. For in the day of trouble, he shall keep me safe in his shelter. Even now he lifts up my head. Therefore, I will offer in his dwelling an oblation with sounds of great gladness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 4, verses 21 through 26. Jesus said to the Samaritan, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You worship what you do not know. We worship what we know, for salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming and is now here when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for the Father seeks such as these to worship him. God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. <clears throat> the woman said to him, I know that Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. When he comes, he will proclaim all things to us. Jesus said to her, I am he, the one who is speaking to you. Thanks be to God. Today we celebrate the Lesser Feast of Julian of Norwich, mystic and theologian. Of Julian's early life we know little, only the probable date of her birth, 1342, her own writings and her revelations of divine love are concerned only with her visions or, quote, showings, unquote, that she experienced when she was 30 years old rather than when the details rather than with the details of her biography julian had been gravely ill and was given last rites suddenly on the seventh day all pain left her and she had 15 visions of christ's passion these brought her great peace and joy quote from that time i desired oftentimes to learn what was our lord's meaning unquote she wrote she also wrote and 15 years after I was answered in spiritual understanding. Would you learn the Lord's meaning in this thing? Learn it well. Love was his meaning. Who showed it to you? Love. What did he show you? Love. Why did he show you? For love, she wrote. Julian had long desired three gifts from God. The mind of his passion, bodily sickness in youth, and three wounds of contrition, of compassion, of willful longing toward God. Her illness brought her the first two wounds, which then passed from her mind. The third, willful longing, or divinely inspired longing, never left her. 
She became a recluse, an anchoress, at Norwich soon after her recovery from illness, living in a small dwelling attached to the parish church. Even in her lifetime, she was famed as a mystic and spiritual counselor and was frequently visited by clergy and laypersons, including the mystic Marjorie Kemp. Kemp says of Julian, this anchoress was expert in knowledge of our Lord and could give good counsel. I spent much time with her talking of the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Julian understood that God was both father and mother to us and understood Christ as exemplifying this maternal face of God. This Jesus Christ, who does good against evil, is our very mother. We have our being in him, where the ground of motherhood begins. As truly as God is our father, so truly is God our mother, Julian wrote. Julian's book is a tender and beautiful expression of God's eternal and all-embracing love, showing how his charity toward human beings is exhibited in the Passion. Again and again, Julian referred to Christ as our courteous Lord. Many have found strength in the words that the Lord had given her. I can make all things well. I will make all things well. I shall make all things well. And you can see for yourself that all manner of things shall be well. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Triune God, Father and Mother to us all, who showed your servant Julian revelations of your nurturing and sustaining love. Move our hearts like hers to seek you above all things, for in giving us yourself, you give us all. Amen. I invite your own prayers of intercession and thanksgiving at this time. Continue to pray for the increased acts of war in Gaza. that peace may come. We ask for peace as well at Crane and on our college campuses across this nation. Let us bless the Lord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.